Hi, I'm Will Scott, Science Spy, and today on The Science Show, we have two chefs. We have Chef Sass, and we have Chef Natalie here to demonstrate two different ways of cutting PCB contaminated fish. Now we're going to be comparing these two ways to see which way is actually safer and has uh, a lesser amount of PCBs in them finally. I'm just going to clean this. Oh, that's an interesting approach. Well, are you going to leave the skin on there? Of course, extra flavor is always better. Not good. 50 to 70% of PCBs are in the belly fat, around the rib bone, and in the skin. I think I want to take the skin off, so I'll start by gutting the fish. Hmm, taking precautions, are we? Yeah. Here is first I've cut off the head, as you can see here. Then I made a little slit along its uh, lower stomach, and I took out the belly fat, which contains most of the PCBs, and now I'll take out some of its guts. Yeah. Um so here we have the gutted fish. We also have to take out the rib bone and take off the skin as well to make sure most of the PCBs are not in the fish. I'm not doing that. I think I'll just cook mine whole. Uh, let's see. Time to chef it up. Much better. Pan fry the fish to remove additional PCBs. It is also important to keep in mind the New York Department of Health's guidelines. Women of childbearing age and children of 15 or less shouldn't eat any fish. Only yellow perch, striped bass, blueback herring, and alewife in the mid-Hudson or lower Hudson regions can be consumed. Other types of fish and all fish in the upper Hudson should not be eaten. Less than one fish a month should be eaten for adults.